kind of like you and Jabril were going back and forth a little bit yesterday. Yeah, that's a very close friend of mine, so it's always good to see him, you know, compete with them. It was, was a fun it, time. Was it satisfying making that catch then in the one-on-ones? Never satisfied. It was a good catch, but, you know, there's always room to improve. So, it's going to improve today in practice. Does this camp feel any different to you, David, now that you've been on it? Fourth, do you feel any different? What was the question? Do you feel, is this camp any different for you than the previous one? Just, uh, you know, seeing it differently, you know, working towards the end goal of just, you know, winning every day. That's pretty much it. Everyone we talk to talks about the work that you have put in this offseason to really elevate your game. First off, what does it mean to hear those compliments come from the front office, the coaches, your teammates, and just, you know, what, what was the driving force for you this offseason? Well, I appreciate those compliments, but, you know, I don't see myself anywhere near finished of working, so I'm just going to continue to work every day. David, where would you say your mindset is heading into the season? Um, especially, like, with your relationship with the organization. I mean, last year, it didn't seem like you were always happy to be here. Has that changed? Are you content? Of course, of course. I mean, you know, we're going to leave last year, you know, in the past, but what I, what I can say is uh, I'm in a way uh, positive mindset, a, a lot more positive this year, you know, just um, playing for myself, playing for, for my teammates, playing for the team, you know, it's a uh, a lot easier to work hard that way. So do, do you feel like this is a place you want to be for a long time now? Of course. Of course. I've been here for four years, knocking on five. You know, I don't really know anything different, so I'd like to stay here. David, what's changed for you then? Has it just been an experience thing? Are you just much more comfortable here? Mindset. Mindset changed, and then everything else got a lot easier. I know you said you put last year in the past, but you kind of came on strong at the end. Did that give you a taste of where you could fit in with this? Offense. More or less, you know. Uh, I had a you know a, a good game, de decent game against Kansas City, but you know I'm, I'm really looking forward to this next one against them, Week One. So. Yeah. What well, was what was your initial thought when you saw that they were Week One? Excitement, you know. Excitement, you know. It's it's uh it's great to play the the team that took you out last first. So I'm very excited. You, you've gone back and forth with agents recently. What's behind that? Are you comfortable with what you, where you're at now? Yes, I am. Why do you keep switching? Um, why do why do I keep switching? I feel I make choices that's best for my future. So bringing Malky back, I think, was best for me. That's your original one, right? Yes. Do you like when you say how much hard you work? Do you feel like there's lots you haven't shown? You know, like in your game and your you know athletic ability. I like to believe so. I like to believe so, yeah. Um, just like I said, just working every day and just see how far it goes. You you have a flair for the spectacular catch. It seems like the tougher Thank you. The, the tougher it is, you come down with them. Why? Why? How do you explain that? It seems like the higher it's, you it's go up. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, I see the ball, I try to get the ball. It's, it's that simple. And yesterday, Stefanski said the guys that could, the tight ends who could go up vertically. That's uh, gravy for a quarterback. He just throws it up there and you go get it. You don't have to beat anyone horizontally as much as just go up and get it. Do you feel that's the strength of your game? One up, yes. One up? Mm -hmm. What about the others now at this stage of your career? I mean, it's, I'd rather not you know, show my cards, you know? but uh, I just, like I said, every day just try to get 1% better in everything and all aspects of my game. So I just work hard. Try to be a great team player. David, you mentioned about being here for five. <coughs> this is your fifth year here, and you've been through the, the worst of times here and now. Things have turned around, and fans are excited. You keep on the outsider talking about you guys potentially being one of the teams that <coughs> could compete to play in February. What does that mean to you as a player that you know had to go through a lot of those tough days? It means a lot. Yeah, no, for sure, it means a lot. You know, we've, I've seen. Uh, along with a couple of my teammates, we've seen both sides of the spectrum, you know, the, the lowest of the low, and now, you know, we have the opportunity to do something very special. So, you know, we got to take it day by day. You know, we can't really look ahead to February. We're still in August. So just focus on, you know, today's practice, then tomorrow, focus on the next practice. It, it, um, excuse this question, but um, you're talking about making those spectacular catches, but sometimes it seems ones that would be routine sometimes you don't make those. Are those concentration uh, issues or what? 
Well, which one are you referring to exactly? Um, I, I can't cite a particular one right now. Well, but, whenever uh, you cite it, you let me know. <laughs> all right. All right. You, uh, we're, so we know this is a business, and we know uh, the contract is up this year, and you just said you want to be here. So will, will you instruct your agent to try to drum up uh, a new contract yes. at this point? Yes, I will. Uh, has that happened yet? Nothing yet. We're, we're just, you know, playing it the day by day. Was that the reason going back to him? One of the reasons. Okay. Yeah. Th this is your fourth year with Baker now. So I mean, where where are you guys at chemistry wise? Is that are like some unspoken connections there? Or? I think I think we're pretty good with chemistry. You know, like you said, this is a, our fourth year together, so we kind of know more of, of each other. You know, on field and off the field. So I think that helps. It's your two Stefanski, David, and like a lot of people expected the tight ends to be a huge part last year. You know, kind of down numbers for Austin. Do you expect more for the tight ends this year with you, uh, Harris? I actually think we were a big part last year, you know. Um, obviously, we were doing some more of the dir dirty work than, you know, catching, which is completely fine. You know, this is a, a team game. So whatever it takes for us to win, we'll, we'll do. Did you have to learn how to accept and perfect that dirty work under this coach? Yeah, I... I I love it now. You know, I uh, really got to enjoy blocking and, you know, doing all that dirty work. It kind of, you know, uh, it excited me towards the end of last year. And now, you know, I, I really enjoy it. Are you a lot better at it, do you think? I like to think so, yeah. Inline blocking and all that? Yeah. What, um, when the new year, new league year began, you were toasting uh, on Twitter um, because your, your fifth year option became guaranteed. So obviously that was a big moment. What did that show you in terms of what the Browns really think about you, and did that affect the change in mindset that you're telling us about? Um, it showed me that, you know, they obviously, they want me to be here for certain reasons, you know, and it excited me that, you know, I, I get to stay here and, and play with my teammates, you know, I have great teammates. So, um, yeah, that, that got me excited, you know, and uh, like I said, there's a lot of work to be done. In what ways do you see Baker having grown in that second year in this system? Almost in every aspect, really. You know, he's just smarter, more confident, just overall a, a better quarterback, you know, and he just keeps progressing. So um, I'm very excited to see him uh, this year. Do you feel like that confidence that he gets from the continuity really shows up day in and day out? Absolutely. In this offense, there are a few skill guys. Give any of you the ball, you can score. Had that you all had that explosive playmaking ability. So I'm just kind of curious, because you all want the ball, you all want those opportunities, but they're not always going to come every day to you. So how do you, how have you, I guess, processed filling a need or fill, you talk about understanding they want you here for a role. So how do you process whatever role they have in store for you? Whatever any of us do that makes us win a game, we're happy. You know, so whatever it takes just to continue to win, is what we're capable of doing and what we will do. And so we gotta make the, this our last one. The, this was the first year. Last year was the first year you were on a winning team, winning season, and uh, here. And uh, the, is that part of the reason you want to complete the job and, and see this through, wherever this team's going? Uh, yes, you know that, that that's part of it too. You know, winning obviously cures almost everything. You know, so um, just winning with my my teammates here, like, like I said earlier, it's just. It's not really uh, any better feeling than that, so 